Either this is a great outfit or it's completely terrible. Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. Now I do not want to jinx it, but it's been getting actually chillier where I live. And by chillier, I mean like 70, 75 degrees. I think most people are already deep into their winter wardrobe. So I figured it was a good time to put together some winter outfit inspo, specifically styling some winter 2023 fashion trends. And I picked about 10 to create outfits for that I'm really excited to wear and that have been inspiring me. Little disclaimer, if you live somewhere chilly or that just gets like proper seasons, you would probably need like a big coat with any of these outfits. So any of the outfits I show, you would need a big coat, but they work for like Southern California winter. Before we get into it, let's chat undies. Yes, today's video is sponsored by Parade because we don't want our bits freezing this winter. I decided to step a little bit outside my comfort zone and go with the wall pattern in the smooth lift triangle bralette and invisible high rise thong, both made out of their universal material that is certified recycled yarn and 100% organic cotton lining. This is literally the best seamless thong I have ever tried. It doesn't ride down and it doesn't even feel like I'm wearing anything. You all know how much I love twall pattern. And so the fact that Parade had a, another matching set in their twall cloud pattern, I mean, I gasped. I absolutely gasped. It features their glow luxe material and is made out of recycled polyester. It is just so buttery soft. Both feature the cutest ruffle detailing and kind of give me a pep in my step, even if I'm wearing them under just jeans and a t-shirt. Gift yourself some cute sustainable undies from Parade during their Black Friday sale and use code AlexaSunshine40 for an exclusive early access that will get you 40% off site-wide. I think we are all aware that red has been a trend for a while and it is still a trend for this winter, but I had seen in a trends video by Beep World that she has been really into brown and red and like I would have never thought to put brown and red together, like never maybe accidentally, but never on purpose. So I kind of wanted to create an outfit with that in mind. I have this brown bomber jacket that I recently thrifted and then these red gingham pants. I mean, again, winter outfit, I don't, I don't know. I did also cuff the pants just because they have this like trim on the bottom that gives very pajamas, even though they aren't pajamas, they could actually be pajamas. I don't really know, but I kind of liked my little like sock ankle showing. Let me know what you prefer. Would it look better if they were longer? I'm not sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with this. This is my final answer for mixing brown and red. Yeah, I would have never, I'm like looking in the mirror and I'm like, oh, never would have had this color combo together. I saw dark denim as a trend loads on different winter trends loose. And this skirt is the darkest like blue denim that I own. I personally am not a lover of specifically the dark denim that was being shown. It's just not like a shade of blue that I personally love on myself. So I'm kind of taking this and making it my own. I wanted to do a denim on denim look because why not? And so I paired this lighter wash denim jacket on top and wore it more as a top. I added the Peter Pan collar because again, why not? It adds something fun, it adds something a little bit more me as well. I think the important thing when it comes to participating in trends, if you want to, of course, is implementing them in a way that is very you. What are some core details in your personal style that you can add to it that really give off like, oh, this is an Alexa outfit, but I'm also still incorporating a trend that I like, kind of. <laughs> there was a big emphasis on textures of clothing. So specifically fur or like even faux fur, sheer lean, leather, velvet. And so I decided to mix my velvet shorts with this leather vest. I know I wore these velvet shorts in my fall like styling trends video, but like they're so good and they go with so much. So I feel like 
it's okay. Also, velvet is just beautiful during fall and winter. It's such a luxurious type of fabric and you can make it as casual or as a little bit dressier as you want. I believe this top as well is made with silk. So you have a lot of different textures going on, especially having the vest be black and the shorts be black with them being, again, the different textures, they kind of have their own moment. I would probably also put a jacket on. I'm thinking maybe a red leather jacket. I know that's still leather, but I think it's a different type of leather. So I think it would be fine. Let me try it. Ooh, yeah, it adds just a different element to this outfit because the type of leather versus the vest leather, this one's a little bit softer. And so it's almost like a little bit shinier as well. I figured for the pleated trend, I was gonna style the ultimate it girl of this trend. And that is the American Apparel pleated tennis skirt that I recently got at the Goodwill outlet. I, I, I can't tell if this outfit is super cute or like really ugly. I just saw it with this black and white or it's like black and gray checkered pattern. Yeah, I could put a baby tee with it, but I want to step outside the box and Either this is a great outfit or it's completely terrible. So please let me know in the comments down below. The pleated trend has definitely been on my mind, on my thrift wish list for the past couple of months. And I have a couple of lawn pleated plaid skirts that I absolutely love. And I think goes a little bit more with this trend. But again, because I just thrifted this skirt, I felt like I needed to wear it. I am also trying to figure out different ways to style it because in the past I have had it in like a plain color and ended up never wearing it. So that's also why I want to style it for this to be like, hey, here's another outfit. It definitely needs a jacket, obviously. So I think I'm gonna go with this leather jacket that I actually wore when I went to the pumpkin patch and I was wearing a pleated plaid skirt. Love that thing. I was gonna style it in this, but because I had already put together that outfit, I decided to go with this one. I had styled this super awesome like vintage leather jacket that I thrifted a couple of months ago. And I think it really goes along with the style and it's a little bit cropped too. It definitely kind of takes over the full outfit and you lose that, you know, puffy sleeve top, but I think it still has the nice little peekaboo and just makes it not as like, whoa, is this a cute outfit or is this not a cute outfit? I wouldn't say all of the winter trends were just like, basics, but it definitely was lacking a lot of color or experimenting. There was a lot of like white button ups are a trend. Black coats are a trend. Gray is a trend and very much 90s minimalism like influence. So I decided to put together a full gray outfit. And would you believe that this is basically all the gray I own minus I think one sweater that I recently thrifted and like a crew neck, but that's it. I really don't own gray. It's definitely outside my comfort zone. And I wanted to put together a very like casual basics outfit and very in line and also kind of like this corporate core. Oh my God, like we can make a core about anything. Yes, corporate clothing core. I don't think that's what it's called, but it's like corporate core or corp core. Gah. I really don't hate this outfit. I think it's quite easy, quite cute. It kind of just gets the job done. And I wanted to add some, you know, little pieces onto it that at least add something. Like I have a gold small dainty necklace on, my black belt just to break up the gray. And then I'm also wearing these tabby, I don't know if you'll be able to see them, um, Mary Janes, which Mary Janes have definitely been quite a trend. And I was gonna do a separate outfit, but just no shoes really went with what I was wanting to go for with this outfit. And I think the tabbies really, you like look at it and you're like, oh, okay, that's a normal, okay. The tabbies are also from a leather maker from Etsy. I know this jacket isn't the most like embellished jacket, but it's still, you know, it has something that made me feel like it would be part of this trend just because of the quilted nature of it, like that already, makes it a little bit more interesting in my opinion. And then I just added these little black bows. I thought about adding more bows to the entire jacket, but I kind of like how minimal it is. Like, again, it gives the point across and because there is the quilting kind of stitching, it already has like almost a pattern going on. So 
I, I think it does the job. This is another great example of something that you could just take a jacket that you already own and add some embellishments to it. Get a little crafty, a little creative. Usually you all know I am not a fan of jean styles being like a trend. Everyone should wear the style of jean that makes them feel the most comfortable and confident. But in saying that, I recently actually bought some baggy jeans. They aren't the baggiest jeans, but definitely different than the type of jeans I usually wear. And when I was looking at the trends, I saw baggy jeans as a winter trend and I was like, oh, okay, I guess I actually can do this one. These are also mid-rise. I know, who am I? I decided to keep it a little bit more simple just because baggy jeans sometimes are already even though they're you know a jean they're quite plain i think they have a lot of personality and so maybe going for something a little bit more simple i also thought maybe just a baby tee with this or like a shirt with a graphic but i kind of like this more simple outfit especially because then the boots that i'm wearing are a maroon i don't know if you'll be able to notice but they are maroon a tip for baggy jeans at least what I personally prefer when it comes to a silhouette, I love putting a platform or just like a chunky boot just because they can just overwhelm any type of shoe that you put with it, like a ballet flat. I think that's definitely a cute look, but for me, I just kind of prefer the look of it being with a platform boot. I love how I was critiquing the trends, being like, oh, it's so basic, it's so boring, and here I am in a full black outfit. <laughs> I am wearing lace gloves though, so that's, that's a little bit interesting, a little bit different. I'm always game for an outfit like this and the trend is goth black, so just layering a bunch of black together. If it was proper winter weather outside, I would be able to layer up a lot of black clothing. I was thinking even like a black turtleneck or like a frilly black top under the dress and then some black tights, but it's it's actually really, really hot right now. And I'm gonna put on a jacket and I think that's the most layering I can do. I know gloves like this really had their moment back in 2021, 2022. And when I'm saying gloves, I'm meaning like lace gloves, basically not for actual cold weather. And I got these from Etsy back in 2021, I think. And I really like them. They are just so like exaggerated. And I just wanna like go like this. And I also love how then they poke through from the leather jacket, if you can see that. I don't know, I'm kind of bringing back gloves for this winter. Cause I think that's just a really fun accessory. Styling metallics can definitely be a little bit difficult just because they are such a statement. And I personally prefer metallics in shoes. Um, I do have two metallic pants. What am I talking about? They're like shiny pants. I wouldn't call them metallic. When I'm thinking of metallic, I'm thinking of kind of these inspiration photos and specifically silver, which I have some silver metallic shoes like Oxfords that I styled in my fall trends video. But in this one, I wanted to style these cowboy boots because they are definitely a statement. They got a lot of personality. And so I kind of wanted to try and style them in a more, you know, darker color palette and a little bit more wearable. For me, this blazer literally goes with anything. And I don't know why I love putting it with metallic. I usually put my shiny pants with it and maybe you don't think it goes, but in my head it goes and I think it's really, really cute. I personally would probably style metallics. I can do it in a fun way, obviously with a lot of color and that kind of thing, but I think they actually work really great with more basic outfits and more like neutrals because they just add such a fun, fun element. I think this one may be a fail because the trend is this like sporty, kind of what we saw during summertime, but still like, bloke core jerseys, that kind of thing. But the only thing that I own that's in line with that are these Adidas like little track shorts or whatever. I don't even know if they would be considered part of that trend, but I, these types of shorts were very big during summertime. So I wanted to see if I can still incorporate them into fall, winter. And I don't think I can. This just, it doesn't look good. I tried to put like a blazer it was, it was not working. So this was the last trend that I had on my list and I can't think of another trend. So I think this one, 
thumbs down. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, most of the items that I showed in this video were secondhand. So if you do like thrifting and secondhand fashion, then make sure to subscribe right down below and hit the little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to keep up to date with me during the week. I'll see you in my next video and I hope you have a super sunny day. Bye.